Three friends, Jim, Alex, and Chris, pick hats from a box. In the box, there are two black hats and one white hat. Jim sees the hats on Alex and Chris. Alex only sees Chris's hat, and Chris can't see any hats. When asked if they know the colors of their hats, Jim and Alex both say no. Chris confidently says that he knows his hat is black. How has he figured it out? Here's how it works. Jim's no means there's at least one black hat between Alex and Chris. Alex says no too, indicating that he sees a black hat on Chris. If it was white, Alex would know he's wearing the black since there's only one white hat. So Chris is sure that his hat is black. No magic or tricks, just logic. Detective Sue finds herself Uh entangled in a case involving the theft of precious diamonds from a vault fortified with high-security measures. The list of suspects is diverse. There's a janitor, a security guard, even the CEO. Who is the thief? The thief is the janitor. Even in a high-security vault, the diamonds should still remain dust-free. The janitor's role involves cleaning them, so he had access to the jewels. On a chilly, wintry day, a figure stood in the center of someone's front yard. This individual remained in place for several weeks without any movement, and the yard's owner didn't mind it. Eventually, this person was gone. Who was he? It was a snowman. Meet Vampire Vlad. He invites his close nocturnal friends for a -a one-of-a-kind dinner gathering. Interestingly, the dinner party takes place during the daytime. All of his vampire companions accept the invitation without questioning it. And they arrive without encountering any problems. How on earth is this possible? Well, it turns out Vlad is the master of planning. He chose to host his vampire friends during a solar eclipse. Vampire Vlad has another story to puzzle you. One day, he found himself on a remote island. There seemed to be no humans there. To his relief, he stumbled upon a thriving garden filled with garlic. Vlad smiled with contentment. Garlic is dangerous for vampires. Then why did he laugh? That garlic garden implied the presence of a skilled gardener on the island. There was a human somewhere around. This discovery kindled Vlad's hope of a future food source. Here's the last one of the vampire-themed puzzles. In a quaint village, three individuals cast shadows, but one claims to be a vampire. The townsfolk wonder which of these three is the true vampire. Well, who is the vampire? The vampire is the one whose shadow behaves weirdly. While regular human shadows mimic people's movements, the vampire's shadow moves independently. Look, the human shadows synchronize with their steps, but the vampire's shadow has a mind of its own. Steve met a tragic fate on a Saturday afternoon. His wife claims she was in the shower at that time. The chef says he was making breakfast. And the gardener was busy pruning hedges. Who is the likely criminal? It's the chef. Uh The whole thing happened in the afternoon, but the chef said that he had been making breakfast. At a carnival, a boy made a bet with a man. The man said he could write the boy's exact weight on a piece of paper. If he succeeded, the boy would give him $50. 
If not, the boy would get $50. The boy thought he could always say he weighed more or less, so he agreed. However, in the end, the boy had to pay the man $50. How did the man win? The man wrote, your exact weight on the paper. And that was exactly what he said he would do. A person finds themselves confined in a room with two possible escape routes. The initial exit is an arrangement of magnifying glasses that scorch anything passing through, because the sun is scorching. The second exit is guarded by a fire-spewing dragon, which is merciless to intruders. How can the captive make their escape? They should wait until nightfall when the sun is down and then make a dash through the first exit. A criminal has been sentenced to face a fatal fate, and he is given a choice to meet his end in one of three rooms. A room engulfed in a blazing fire, a room occupied by assassins, or a room inhabited by lions that haven't eaten a meal in years. Uh -oh. Which room should he select? He should opt for the room with the lions. If they haven't eaten in years, they aren't alive anymore. Once, a magician bragged about being able to hold his breath underwater for 6 minutes. A kid overheard this and exclaimed, and I can do 10 minutes with no gear. The magician bet $10,000. Oddly, the kid won. Do you know how? She was just holding a glass of water above her head for 10 minutes. A monkey, a squirrel, and a bird are having a race to the tip of a ginormous coconut tree, all of them eyeing a delicious banana at the top. Who's going to be the lucky winner here? The monkey, the squirrel, or the bird? Oh please, the answer is none of them, because bananas don't grow on coconut trees. There are five apples in a basket and five people in the room. Each person takes one apple. Yet in the end, one apple is left in the basket. How come? The last person took an apple together with the basket. There's a person who lives on the 14th floor of a building. When they take the elevator downstairs, they stop at the first floor. When they go upstairs, they only go to the 10th floor. And after that, they use the stairs the rest of the way. But here's the twist. When they're in the elevator with someone else, or when it's raining, they go straight to the 14th floor. So what's the deal with this weird behavior? This person is a child. They can't reach the 14th floor button. When it's raining, this kid has an umbrella and can use it to press the button. And when they're with someone else, this other person can press the button for them. A driver goes the wrong way on a one-way street. But when he passes a few cops, they don't stop him. Why? Because he's walking, not driving. Two fathers and two sons go to the mall and then return home in a car. However, when they get out of the car at home, only three people exit. How is it possible? Did they forget someone at the mall? Well, it's because we've got three generations here. A grandfather, a father, and a son. So even though there are two fathers and two sons, there are only three individuals. 
A couple went on a three-week-long vacation, taking great care to secure their home and asking a neighbor to look after it during their absence. Upon their return, the wife discovered that her valuable jewelry was gone. How did it happen? She had hidden her precious jewelry inside the freezer in a bag with frozen food. But during their absence, there was a power outage. The frozen food went bad, Uh and the neighbor, trying to be helpful, threw away the spoiled food. Bye-bye, jewelry! Imagine finding yourself in a pitch-black room. You have just a matchbox, a candle, and a lamp. You have only one match. The question Uh is, what should you light first? Easy peasy. You light the match first. Think of an eight-letter word that remains a valid word even when you remove one letter at a time until only one letter is left. It's almost impossible to guess, but give it a try. The word is starting. You can take away letters one by one like this. Starting, staring, string, sting, sing, sin, in, and finally, I. Did you find those tough? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.